Hello everyone, this is Diviana Nongtudu from Assam Don Bosco University, Department of Physics. Today I'll be talking about Gauss Law. What is Gauss Law? As we all know that Maxwell equation has four equations, and Gauss Law is taken from the first equation of Maxwell equation. Gauss Law tells us that both electric field and electric charge are related to each other. Where there is an electric field, there has to be an electric charge. Okay, now suppose if we take a closed surface on a space where there is an electric field, there will be a flux linked to it. The flux that is linked to it can either be zero or infinity. As we can see from the definition, it tells us that the total electric flux, which is denoted by phi e, through a closed surface, which is called as the Gaussian surface, is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times to the total charge enclosed by closed surface. That is, phi e is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times to the total charge enclosed, which gives us phi e is equal to q by epsilon naught. Now, as we can see here in the diagram, on the left hand side, the net flux is non zero as it encloses the charge, whereas on the right hand side, the charge is outside the surface. It means here that the net flux will be equal to zero since it does not enclose any charge. In this case, phi e will be equal to zero. We should note that. The flux linked to the surface depends upon the charge that are placed inside the surface and not outside the surface. Now from the definition of electric flux, we have phi e is equal to integral e dot ds. Let us take this as equation 1. Now from equation 1 and 2, we have integral e dot ds is equal to q by epsilon naught. From this equation 1, I'm sorry, from this equation, we see that Gauss law can also be stated as the surface integral of electric field E over a closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times to the net charge enclosed by that closed surface. Now let us find an electric field due to an infinity charge plane charge. Let us consider an infinite plane sheet of charge with surface charge density sigma. Let Q be the charge on the sheet and P be a point at the distance R from the sheet and let E be the electric field at P. The shape of electric field will be parallel to each other as they cannot cross with each other. This, this Gaussian surface which is in the form of of cylindrical is normal to the plane sheet. Let A be the cross sectional area and DS be a small area on both the end caps of the cylinder. Here P is lying at both the end cap of the cylinder. The direction of E is perpendicular to the plane sheet. As if you look at the diagram, we can see that R is very small as compared to the sheet. So because the size of sheet is very large compared to R, then we say an infinitely large sheet. This Gaussian surface is a, is a cylinder which is normal to the sheet. At every point of the flat surface, the angle is zero, that is symmetry. And the electric field at each point of the flat surface is the same. Now the electric flux passing through the surface is phi e is equal to integral e dot ds. Phi e will be divided into two parts. Therefore, the, the total electric flux passing through the end caps is given by Phi e is equal to integral e ds cos 0 degree which is which is a flat 1 plus integral e ds cos 0 degree on flat 2 which gives us 2 integral e ds cos 0 degree which is equal to twice e integral ds. Therefore phi e will be equal to 2 e a where a is the cross sectional area of the cylinder. 
Now the charge within the cylinder Q is equal to sigma A. But according to Gauss law, phi E is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Applying Q is equal to sigma A, we get phi E is equal to sigma A by epsilon naught. Let us take this as equation 2. Now from equation 2, we get E is equal to sigma by twice epsilon naught. Thus, from equation 3, we see that the electric field intensity is independent to the distance from the sheet. So, suppose if we increase the distance r, double that is twice r, will the distance increase, decrease or remain the same? It will obviously be decreased because the distance from the charge will increase. But from equation 3, we see that there is no r. If there is no R, that means the electric field is not affected by R. And in the language of physics, we say that E is independent of R. Therefore, equation 3 gives us the electric field intensity for a thin infinity plane sheet. If you like this video, do like, subscribe, and you can also comment on the comment section.